Hello guys, Sisika here and welcome back to Star Stable. If you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe so you get a notification when I post new videos and click on the little bell so you get a notification right away. We are back in Jandal because we have to help Sigri with the election for being a councilwoman. I kind of crossed my fingers that it will end like that, but this particular questline I have not been through very much. I said early in the beginning that I have played Star Stable on another account before, but it's been a while, so there's many quests I actually don't remember that well, so that's actually kind of cool because then it will be new to me anyway. So we will not use so much time here to just talk, we're just gonna go over to Sigri and see how she's doing. We was listening to a speech that she had and we had to help her with that because it was a little boring. So let's just go over to Sigri and help her. And I still have Charmberry with me today because she's adorable and she need some fresh air and somehow or somehow of some sort because she's been in the stable for a while. All right, here we are already. Yeah, we was trying to find something so Sigurd could sleep. That was it. Hello, Dr. Erin. With mere hours to spare, you and Rania rode out and collected votes to add Sigurd as a last minute addition to the upcoming election. No wonder the poor woman is too anxious to sleep. To said, I'm glad you gave her the extra push. I only know Sigri for a short while, but already I can tell she's born to lead. Dundal will be better off with someone like her as a representative. If Sigri needs a little help falling asleep, I have just a trick. A relaxing cup of tea. There are just a few ingredients you will need that, unfortunately, are found, ri unfortunately are found right here in Mistfall. Let me give you a list. Fetch these and bring them back here. Alright, I will. Oh, I need to speak to Rana first. Dr. Aaron's special recipe for sleeping tea. Can you read it to me? Your vegan ginger, fresh berries, spring water, easy peasy. The first ingredient for Sigurd's sleeping tea recipe is wild your vegan ginger. That's simple. We have picked it before, right? It grows all of a mistful right outside of the town. Right outside of town. All right, we will do it. Just need to see my keyboard here. That's a good start, right? Oh, we're going in this direction. Uh, maybe not. Whoop! Sorry, horsey. Oh, sorry. Come on. Go forward. There we go. There seems to be a lot of them just right here. Do we need to get down from a horse? I think so. No! You can get it on horseback! Awesome. Oh, here is a person going for a walk or a trip. Okay, last one. Here we have it. Conditions fulfilled. Let's find Rania that is standing over here with her beautiful horse. I can smell the wild ginger on your fingers. It reminds me of gingerbread and snowy nights. So cozy! That should do the trick. Oh. On its own, wild ginger is pretty bitter. Dr. Aaron suggested we pick a few blueberries to add to the tea. But I find a mix of berries but I find a mix of berries always tasty. Fortunately there's still a patch of clove berries ready for the packing. Oh! And some red lingonberries will give the tea a nice bite. Blueberries, cloudberries, and lingonberries. Think you can find them? Yeah. Ooh, they are spread out. Let's do this. Maybe we need to cross this bridge. It seems like it. Dundal or Mistfall is so beautiful and there's so much detail in the world. I'm in love with it. And yeah. I got a little question here the other day. Um, since I'm Norwegian, I got the question, why don't you play 
Star Stable on Norwegian and speaking Norwegian. Um, to be honest, I, from the beginning I was actually determined to do everything on English because I wanted to go outside my own country kind of and reach people outside my country. So that's why I do it in English. But I have anything of having a funny video where I'm saying some English words, the same in Norwegian, but that's still planning up in my head. But that can be an idea. But let's continue. <laughs> uh, it has been some times when something w goes wrong and I am this close to saying a word in Norwegian, but that will not make a sense, or that will not make sense whatsoever. <laughs> so, but it feels unnatural to actually speak Norwegian when I actually doing these videos. I'm just like, uh, no, that feels not, or that's not natural to me though, since I'm have done the, or since I've done this in English since day one, basically. How many do we need of the blueberries? I'm not sure though. Oh, there's some different ones. They were big. Wow. Alright, and the last one is actually a bit far away though. Oh, here the road is still blocked. What? I thought they were kicked out, basically. <laughs> Alright, back to Rania again. And I need to watch the time today because my schedule is super filled up or super full whatever you want to call it. So, I need to watch the time so even not to go over time. Is she standing in the same place, I guess? Yep. Hello, we have the berries. You found them. We are making we are making tea, in uh, a big pot of jam. So, I don't think anyone will mind if I sneak a few of these. You know, for quality control, trust me, no one will miss them. Yum, berries. <laughs> the last thing the dog needs for mama's tea is crisp clear mountain spring water. I know, we can use one of those bottles of go, water the GED left behind. Just kidding, who knows what additives and preservatives they added. Why settle with bottle? when we can go straight to the source. Kinda know the source she's talking about. Yeah, in that little cave, I think. Or maybe in beside it. We will see. I've seen this cave, very cute cave with the water inside. Or at the end of it. It's maybe better to send it. It's super cute though. Should be here, right? Yeah, it is. Look at this partic- ooh! What's, what's going on there, Shawnberry? It's super cute, just look at it! I think I have actually had a intro photo from here before. It's so beautiful. Empty bucket, and we can do it on horseback again! Oh, alright, Rania. We should get back to Dr. Erin with the ingredients. Mama has a big day ahead. Of her and needs her rest. Yeah. Hold on, here we are. Two amazing riders and two awesome horses. Dellinger and Chambury. What do you say? Size the moment and have ourselves a little race. Now that you have spent some time around Mistfall, I don't need to go easy on you. Ready? Stella? Don't go easy on me. Uh no. Sure. Go full. Come on, Shambury. You can do it! You have longer legs, even though that's the baddest thing you can say about cute smaller horses. And you are level 13, so that should be no problem. Uh, we are going. Okay, that was new. New obstacle for sure. <laughs> or 
or challenge, I will call it. We won, though. Sorry. Goalie, you are fast. I thought my home court advantage will have given me the edge. Not that I mind coming in second. I'm happy to know that when speed is important, I have just a friend to call on. There you girls are. We have got the ingredients, Doc. Thank you, Rania. I will take those. Sure you don't need anything else? Magical kettle forged by dwarves? A silver spoon of John Droll's personal chief? Mama might need rest, but Stella and I are still racy. <laughs> St racy. Uh, still raring to go. I bet you are, but no. I've got everything I need. Alright. Here we are. One cup of soothing sweet dreams tea. Give this to Sigri and she will have the best night of sleep in her life. Alright. Here's Sigri. What I'm going to do, Stella, the rally, the rally is tomorrow morning and I can't keep a single thought straight. Oh, what's that smell? Hmm, why well, yes, I would love a hot cup of tea. Thank you very much. Ah, that is a nice cup of tea. I should really go over my speech one more time, but... Uh, I'm sure you can wait till morning. He will tell Rani I'm going to bed early. Yes, I will. What a relief that Mama can finally get some rest. Well, there's nothing more we can do today. Meet me here tomorrow for the big rally, Stella. And since she got a clock, we have another quest here, actually, that we're gonna take a look at. Yeah, I think we spoke to this person few weeks ago, so I think we have already gone through oh. the text here. Oh, how rude of me. I never introduced myself. Uh -huh. I'm Violet, and I'm a wildlife biologist. Biologist? There we go, maybe? For the rangers. Uh -huh. That means I'm in charge of surviving wildlife to track the overall health of their populations, as well as making sure that when humans and wildlife share the same root spaces, that habitats are protected and visitors are safe. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. I was just past the Tumisville National Park and I have a lot of catching up to do. That's where you come in, the volunteer. I could use your help photographing local wildlife for my surveys. You can borrow my camera. It's right... Nutkins. Where did you get off to this time? Uh, Nutkins is my horse. By the way, he's sweet as a candy, but he has a tendency to wander off every time I turn my back. What can I say? It's part of his charm. Uh, Would you mind looking around town for Nutkins and bring me back the camera? He's caring. I thought she was kind of using Nutkins as a word, but no, it was a name. <laughs> I just said <like>, Nutkins. <laughs> All right. I have seen a horse actually standing. No, that was a girl. Standing somewhere close to not a fountain or maybe more like a statue. Where am I wrong? No, I'm pretty sure I've seen a horse around here, though. Yup. I have, and it's right here. And holding a camera. Hey there, horsey. Oh, you will not follow us? Okay. Back to Violet, then. I got your camera. Yup, that's my camera. And let's see here. All the lenses seem to be intact. We are ready to go. Before we start in on official work, let's make sure you know your way around a camera. The hills and meadows around Mistful are positively awash with rabbits. It shouldn't be hard to find one. Take my camera and photograph one of the Westcliff fellas. Good luck. Thank you. I will maybe go off horseback in that particular moment so I don't scare the rabbits away. I will put like my horse over here. Stay there while we are taking photos of him. 
for rabbits. Oh, here's a cute one. Hey there. Aw. Little spot on his eyes, or her eyes, depending on which one. Took a great photo of the rabbit. Oh, we only need one, okay. We got a picture of a rabbit. That's a great photo. Bunnies really are the most photogenic cre critters, don't you think? Okay, Stella, you have proved that you are more than up for the job of a junior nature photographer. Welcome to the rangers, volunteer. Oh, so now she will have dailies. So, rabbits and frogs. And I can see already that we are over time. I need a shorter episode today because my schedule is super full. So we actually need to end this video here with Violet. But now we have some dailies that I can do behind camera to see if we're gonna eventually open up new quests with her when we get more reputation. That can be interesting. And of course we have Sigri that's more than nervous for today's or tomorrow's or when we are back of course um election and she's gonna hold a speech so we will see what we're gonna do i will not say what we're gonna do in the next episode because i want to keep it as a surprise but you guys what do you think about this especially election thing i really hope sigri will win though because she deserves it and that awful council man that I don't remember the name of need to go away he just got in a contract with GED and sell the source water source of mistful to them that's totally idiotic if you ask me so no 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 but okay you guys we need to end this video here in the next episode we're gonna continue on on more quests here in Yorick and I'm really looking forward to it because we are really of the <laughs> I need to have my tongue in order. We are very... Nope. No, it's not working. <laughs> we are leveling up quite fast now and are opening up so many quests. Look at the map right now. We have quests everywhere. And that's a lot of fun. So I'm really looking forward to continue. So give a thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Share it with your friends. And I see you in the next episode. Bye.